I don't know if we're live. Are we live? Could be. Or we could not be. I have no idea. What's going on here? Oh, yep. I think we're live. All right, then. All right, let's, uh, oh, shit. Why is that thumbnail that? I'm, I mean, what's good here? Change. Downloads. Uh, wait. Yeah, it's YouTube. Uh, why? What's this? Live thumbnail? Yeah, that one. Not quite sure what's going on. Yeah, audio's low because I'm not yelling. That's my bad on that one. Might be, might be. Um, but... All the layers, yeah, I don't know why that thumbnail is there. I'm, I'm going to keep it a, a buck with you guys. Um, but it needs to change. So hopefully I changed it. Hopefully it's changing soon. Okay. Nope, nope, it's not. All right, got it. Um, it should. Hopefully the thumbnail changes soon because I, I don't know what's going on. Nope, still not changed. All right, cool. <clears throat> So we're here. Uh, what's good, everybody? Cody, what's up, man? Um, I just really want this thumbnail change. It's stressing me out. Mm, yep. Nope. Still, still that. All right. Okay. Well, I mean, we're just gonna we're just gonna run with it. So there's that. Did something just spill? Um, it's kind of like baffling to me about that because I saved it. Yeah, it's still not working. I don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> Alright, so I go to edit video, right? Yeah, and then I have the thumbnail. Alright, it's just going to take a little bit. It's just gonna, I guess it's going to take a little bit. Um, But what's good, everybody? I don't know what we're doing tonight. I'm not going to lie. I just felt obligated to go live. So if we have a uh, a figure to open, which we have about 300. All right. Um, Cincy, what's up, brother? Hold on. Wait. Let's remove this real quick. And let's do second channel. This. For everyone that's uh, coming in here live, what's my thumbnail? Is my thumbnail Lego or is it like a blue, like a blue background, like my typical stuff? Oops, don't want that. I want this. Nope, it's still the damn Lego. Why? Why is it Lego right now? Uh, Lego. Why is it? Wait. Andrew said blue background. Everyone else says Lego. Son of a bitch. All right, since he said blue, okay. Still Lego. What is good, YouTube? I already changed it. All right, let's let's try to test this out. So if I copy the link and I go in here, let's try this out. And I paste. Blue background. Okay, it's blue background. We're chilling. All right. Big chilling. Anyways, what's up? On um, the TV, it was blue. Perfect, Harold. What's good? How's everybody doing? Uh, no idea what what I'm doing this stream. <clears throat> Zero. Zero idea. Uh, I have a heavy Mandalorian hot toy that I could, like, mess around with. Um... I have a lot of Storm Collectibles figures I could open, um, but I don't have any room for them. So that's that's really where the problem lies. You know what I mean? All right, some of you got blue backgrounds. All right, but I like that. Um, so uh, if you guys do see in the pinned the pinned comment, um, that's my second channel. It is uh, a shorts video, which pretty much, or a shorts channel, which for shorts videos, which 
people are working next door. Uh, so as you guys don't know, I stream on Twitch pretty much every single day. Um, and then I created a YouTube channel for those clips and more um, gameplay style stuff. So if you enjoy Warzone, if you enjoy gaming content, feel free to click the link in the pinned comments. Second video or second channel. Uh, I just uploaded a video today, which is pretty funny. We're at 96 subs over there, so it would be dope if we could get to 100 real quick. Um, but yeah, I appreciate all the the love over there as well. You're gonna try for the shadows? Yeah, of course. Hot toy scarlet, which looks good. Yeah. Yep, I wish I had the Civil War one. Kyle, what's up, brother? Nat, what's good, man? Uh, Chris, what's up, bro? Mm, let's see, I forgot. Uh, TPC, what's good? How you doing, man? Jake is all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Christian, what's good, bro? Nice to see you over here. Um. Guessing you got rid of the old Black Series show? Yeah, dude. All this. It's all detox behind me. I did put some art up. I might make you guys a little motion sick, but I kind of want to show you guys real quick. So I got to tilt. Go up. Look at that. Got some art hanging up over there. I'm not done. I bought more, uh, more, what's that called? Picture frames. Uh, yesterday at Walmart. And then, um... Hey, Harold, thank you, bro. Dude, I want the Ray and Kylo. I'm already freaking, what's it called? Distracted. Uh, What were we talking about? Oh, art, picture frames. Got to put more of that stuff in. Um, Thank you to subscribing for the second channel. Um, The art is cool. You should try to match up the art colors with the shoe colors. Yeah, but the shoes aren't going to stay here. That's the thing. I need to get something to where they're not, like, in the environment. Like, I need to buy either more shoe containers or have my dad build me something. But, um, yeah. But I like the art. It's nice. Karina and I, we spent well over $1,000 of art, or on art, at uh, ICCon. So, we'll probably have to spend $4,000 in frames to uh, hang up everything. But, uh, I got four 11 by 17 uh, things uh, yesterday. And then, um... Hopefully, put some put some prints in there, or some of the the art we got from Bimba. Uh, Daniel, you didn't miss anything, bro. We've been live for oh, there it is, seven and a half minutes, and uh, I had not done one thing besides do this. Uh, do I watch any sports besides wrestling? Uh, Kareen and I enjoy watching basketball and a little bit of football, mainly basketball and UFC, lots of UFC. Uh, Michaels has great deals on frames. Yeah, Karina needs to teach me the ways of Michaels. Um, sitting here at work watching the stream. Hey, thank you, Glenn. Art, what's up, brother? Unboxing. Brian Carvar, what's up, man? How you doing? I'll be getting a piece of art. I'm the same guy this week who does the real good work. Um, I'm assuming that's the spray paint guy because you asked about him? Or is it Bimba? Because Bimba does some fire fucking art, man. I love it. Um, but the the spray paint stuff from Artistic Lifestyle is sick. If I had, okay, so here's one other uh, that I haven't hung up yet, but this is from Artistic Lifestyle as well, this Iron Man head. Karina fell in love with this one. Um, my favorite thing about this is the hints of blue right here and right here, like on his cheek plate. Um, I just, I, I like all the hints of blues that he decided to do on that. But yeah, it's pretty sick. I enjoy this one, so throw that back there for now but i like it man dial grind let's get it cool i'm a big ufc fan as well who's it? i don't know favorite fighter man i just enjoy watching ufc um favorite ufc fighter right now um i mean i'll always like conor mcgregor just of like for what he's done for uh the sport other than that man I, i'm honestly i'm drawing a blank I just, I just, and I appreciate the sport, if that makes sense. I don't have a, uh, like a favorite fighter, per se. Hey, Gustavo, what's up, brother? From Bimba? Yeah, dude, Bimba's art is sick. I don't know if you guys even would be interested in seeing it, but we got a lot of stuff from him at the show that I didn't even show. Just because it's so much stuff. It's been ridiculous. Um... Damn, we're two away from 100 on the second channel. So I appreciate you guys for that support, man. 
Uh, my team Mayweather or Paul? Um, so I'm definitely team Paul. Like I, I mess with the Paul brothers. I know a lot of you guys don't, and honestly, if you want to bullshit about it in the comments, that's cool. I don't care. Um, I appreciate the Pauls because uh, one, they're from Ohio, so I have to at least represent them. Two, um, they are incredibly gifted at what they do. Three, I don't agree with everything that they've done or do currently, but I'm a fan for, of their hustle because everyone who is talking about how much they hate them, they're doing exactly what they want. And two, this whole boxing thing is absolutely incredible. I love that they're doing it. Your timer's going off? Am I going to show the art? Dude, it would take me like 20 minutes to go through the art. Enjoy what you guys are doing the Sweet Spot Network. Yeah, I'm, I, I fell short on the uh, on the video. You know what I mean? It sucks. Um, and then uh, May, Mayweather-wise, I mean, I don't know. I, he's statistically the best boxer in the world or whatever, but I don't think he's very entertaining. <laughs> um, all right, so what should we do? Cincy, did you sell your heavy Mandalorian hot toy? Was that a thing that happened? Did you sell it at the show? You guys really want me to show all that art? Oh my god, that's a lot. I mean, I'm, I'm no bullshit. It's probably going to be at least 20 minutes for the time. I cheered when Kevin Owens stunned Logan Paul. Um, he has sold your heavy and your remnant. That's wild, man. All right, if you guys really want to see the art, we'll uh, we'll go, we'll run it up. I gotta go get it. Hold on. You want to see all the art? Are you, are you kidding? Coming. Don't you worry. All right, for real. Look at this. We have all this art, and there's tons of prints too. This is ridiculous. Buckle up. I'll give you guys two minutes to go get a drink, get a snack, or whatever, because this is probably gonna take the entire live stream. Just to let, just to let you know. <sighs> um, Mayweather's defensive specialist. Yeah, uh huh. I agree with that one. How to make room for Best Car Mando? I should get Best Car Mando. Thursday this week. Um, I'll probably do a live stream with that as well at some point. Um, oh, you can show some of the new comic covers. <laughs> yeah, I've gotten a lot. <laughs> I've gotten way too many comic covers, man. It's ridiculous. All right, back to the art. That, that, that was two minutes, right? Yeah. All right, do you guys want to see prints or, yeah, see here's two prints. You want to see prints or colored pencil art? I'll, I'll let you guys decide what we go through, through first. Bay, huh? we bought a lot of these prints. Which I oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to spend more on frames for them than the actual print. Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay. Oh, so we're just saying art? You want colored pencil art and down for prints? Okay, prints, prints. Want to see it all? Yeah, for sure. Prints. Alright, so it looks like prints. Prints first. Alright, bet. Prints. Um, I do not remember this artist. I am absolutely terrible for this. Um, but I swear on everything that i recorded this dude's booth because i remember zooming in on like his paypal info and all that stuff um at the booth 
And then when I edited my video, there was nothing in there. And I, I don't know. So um, I want to kind of go through these semi-quick because uh, th there's a lot. So uh, we'll get to the colored pencils print next. This, uh, Bay, do you remember his name at all? Yeah. This guy that, with the prints. I think his first name was, I followed him on Instagram. I'll, I'll eventually figure it out. But anyways, here we go. Here we have uh, Rudolph and Baby Groot. That's Karina's favorite. And this one, little baby Yoda and reindeer, Rudolph. Then he, then we have Heavy Mando, speaking of Heavy Mando. Then we have this, which I don't know whose name, Greg Krivak. Thank you, yeah. Andrew. That's it, right there. And we have this, which I don't know if that Mandalorian has a name or not. We have Baby Groot with the sunflower. Daisy. Daisy. Sorry. And here we have... Oh, Nat, that was it. It was the live stream. Dude. We have Rogue. Good call. Here we have a, birth, a birthday party with all the bounty hunters. I thought it was great. Here we have a little Mary Jane rendition. We have Black Widow, which I like this one a lot because it's kind of like a Scarlett Johansson um, Black Widow look versus the comic look of that. Then we have a Harley Quinn for this one. This one is pretty sick. Have Darth Maul. Which is very cool. Yeah, yeah, the one with the Mortal Kombat picks, man. Yeah. Then we have a Slave Leia. Which is uh, on a, a variant background. Not that that really matters, but just in case anybody cares. Another Slave Leia. And I just found his card. So, Let's see if we can get this to focus. Nope, not at all. All right. Nope, still not focusing. All right, bet. Anyways, it's Greg Krivak, K-R-I-V-A-C. So G-R-E-G, -E Greg Krivak, K-R-I-V as in Victor, A-C. Um, you can find him there on Instagram or Facebook. So if you guys are interested in whatever. <laughs> Lewis, what's good, bro? All right, now these are probably some of my favorite prints that I did pick up. So this first one, we have a little Hoth scenery right here with a snow trooper. Nameless was good. Uh, this one we have a little ATST with some snow troopers. And then this one's probably my favorite out of the three. Not only do we have some of the coolest vehicles from Star Wars, but we also have Mando in here with a little tie-in action on Hoth. So we have some ginormous AT-AT walkers. We have the AT-AT pilot, and then we have Mando. I'm pretty sure that's Mando. Or, um, no, it's just a Mandalorian. I don't think it's actually Mando. But anyways, it's Mandalorian. But look how sick all three of these look, like, kind of together. You know what I mean? So we have, like, bam, bam. You get the idea, right? So, he actually sold out of these at the show, which is pretty cool, to, to the, the fact that we were able to snag them. Um, and then the last two, we have a Poison Ivy, which is on a thicker cardstock. And then we have probably Karina and I's favorite, Scarlet Witch. Looking badass. So, those are all the prints that we got. I don't... They were like 10 bucks a piece, pretty much. That's what it boiled down to. So, let me get these back in the bags, maybe, and then um, then I'll show you guys the colored pencil art, which hand, hands down is my favorite, and I think you guys will enjoy it too. Yeah, Brad, I think they do uh, link up all together. I just don't have enough hands to show it. What the hell is going on here? What am I doing wrong? Just putting a plastic bag over print. How hard is this? Yeah, 
We'll probably hang up the Scarlet Witch sooner than later. There we go. Now this is going to take forever. Okay, let's do it this way. It smells good in there. All right, let's. All right, we're going to start with the smaller ones and then gradually go up in size. Oh my God, Andrew with the ten with the frame fund, my man. Thank you, sir. Um, we're going to need a lot of frames, lots of them. That's that is a fact. So this is going to go a little slower because i got to like re-put them back in the plastic sleeves. But here we go with uh, a rendition of King Kong. And by the way, I just want to say it now, uh, these look like ass over like cameras and stuff. Like The best way to look at this kind of art is in person. Because I took a picture of this gorgeous King Kong. It was 36 by 36. Like It was some ridiculous huge piece. I took a picture of it. It looked like shit. No lie. In person, it looked 15 times better. So, there we go. There's a King Kong. I think there was a, a clip in my video where I looked at it. Speaking of ICCon, um, in case you guys are not aware, they just annou officially announced next year um, ICCC is going to have uh, Emperor Palpatine as one of their guests. Here we go with this adorable Baby Yoda. Little Grogu action, and this piece in person is crazy because you can he like detailed out every single like hair fiber. These are beautiful pieces, man. It's absolutely ridiculous. This is what I spent all my money on at ICCon. I didn't. I bar I don't think I bought any figures. I bought one hot toy that I still haven't opened. <laughs> can you see this? Okay, here's. I'm just gonna like not take these out of here, but. Yeah, Andrew, that's a great point. So, um, Karina and I were talking to him. We probably talked to him for a total of like two hours. But I was asking him, like, yo, how do you draw on a black background? And he says that the way that his mind works when he's doing art is he sees everything reversed. So he uses the shadows. The shadows like, he, he colors in the shadows by coloring the outside of the shadow. Is that making any sense? So like the negative space, so like the black background, he uses the background to to see his shadows versus vice versa or some shit. I don't know, man, but it's it's wild. It's absolutely incredible that he can do this. Um, and then we have a hawk. You know what? I'm taking this out because this deserves to be shown. All right, so this hawk is pretty cool because it's like a um, like a scribble scribble sketch almost. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell, but see how it's not like fully uh, fully colored in. Which one is that? The hawk, oh. and um, kind of like up on his shoulders. Do you guys see where he like drug his pencil across type of thing? But I thought this looked absolutely cool. I got I think Hawk Spider Man and then one other uh, Marvel figure. And then this guy, Darth Yoda. This was one of the first pieces that I bought from him. I just thought that was really cool. Yeah, this is art house vibes for sure, man. I'm um I'm actually disappointed in myself that we haven't framed up any of his stuff yet. Um, he's coming. Thank thankfully, I will say this. He traveled. So I think he's from Tennessee, yeah. but he travels up to literally our neck of the woods kyle if you're still in the chat i don't know if i told you guys this in the group chat but the guy who does all this art he goes to the freaking xenia toy show man and um and so he'll be up there in october or september whenever the next uh whenever the next show is or whatever but yeah it's reductive illustration that's wow that's that sounds like that's what it should be um teal what's up brother uh, Mano, you can do, dude. We just bought um, decent. Or no, oh my God, I'm I'm talking way too fast right now. Uh, we just bought frames, ironically, from Walmart last night. Um, all right, so now we're getting into a little bigger uh, pieces. The first thing that attracted me uh, to the art was the fact that I noticed that it was on. A, would you call this poster board? Foam board. Foam board. Um, he. 
uh, when we walked up and I saw how thick the the stock was, I was like, "What is this?" And he's like, "Oh, it's just black foam board from Walmart." So that was one of the unique things that I loved um, from the jump of his art. So as you can see, it's uh, like thick, thick pieces of foam board. So these are all the foam board pieces. Um, I don't know specifically like what size most of these are. Okay, most of them sit on the back. But here we have a, a Wonder Woman with a flag draping under her booty. Then we have another Wonder Woman under her booty. Then we have this Wonder Woman, kind of a silhouette thing. There was a, I'll try to explain it more, but there's a couple that we got that I absolutely love how big the, uh, the backgrounds were versus the focus or whatever. Glenn, see you later, man. Uh, yeah, it's sometime in August, Brian. That is that. My bad, Andrew. I missed that. But also, if you guys reached out to him, Bimba Art, um, after the video or whatever, I I so much appreciate that, man, because it was so cool to hear that you guys were interested in in some of the art. Um, here's one of my favorite pieces. This was one of the first ones that I bought, uh, Slave Leia, and she's kind of just like looking off into whatever. But how and it's so hard over um, camera to show you, but how he captures the the lighting and shows the shadowing on a black background is ridiculous because if you look at this you can definitely tell that the sun is like right here mm -hmm. shining down on her and the fact that he can capture all that and he even gets like her leg shadowed out from the i don't know the, the drape cloth or whatever that's on her her outfit and then it, uh, like her legs and back is just not near as bright i don't know it's just wild how he captures that and then this is a Wonder Woman, strictly showing off her behind. But once again, how he captures the front and makes it completely blacked out shadow, but still gives you like the silhouette of the front of her body while the light is shining on her back is ridiculous. I don't know. It just looks incredible, but better in person. So these are 12 by or 11 by 14. Yeah, these are 11 by 14. Is that custom framed for that? Well, that's a bummer. We might be able to find like some odd, odd ones. Steve, what's up? Oh, oh no, 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 what? Was I saying bad words already? All right, so these are massive. This is 16 by 20. This is a frame size. Yeah, that yeah. Is. So here we have Incredible Hulk. That one's so cool. I know, this is very cool. Like, look at his <laughs> legs, how his legs are almost, like, not visible. Yeah, but you can still tell where his legs yeah. are because of where he puts the lighting, like, right here. Mm -hmm. So Kyle said we should be able to find 11 by 14. Okay. So I, I trust him. Um, So, like, Karina just picture. She's off camera looking, but... See how you can still like tell where his like quad is because of how he highlights the knee and I don't know it's it's just wild but it's very cool this hawk is awesome um we should have a team call I know we should have just pulled the damn trigger on it this one I got for like twenty dollars literally but look at this Darth Vader I'm trying to. Can, you, can you turn that light on? I wonder if that would make a difference or not. I feel like it would hurt it because of the black. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll see how it goes after this one. If I like angle it. You guys, you guys, I don't know why I think my mic's over here because it's over here. You guys can see this, right? A little bit. It's a cool, like, Vader art for, I think I literally got it for like 20 bucks. Because we started buying so much it's worth more than 20 bucks. that he kept. Um, just cutting prices on everything for us. Okay, I need to make. I need to cut it. I need to cut it. Cut it. Oh. All right. So yeah, I need to make my chat over here. Okay. Oh wow, I forgot about these. Oh, that. Remember yeah. All right, I'm gonna go with the keep the bigger ones first. Here we have 
This one is another one I was talking about. Here is a uh, Harley Quinn. I think you're right about that light. No, wait. If I do this, we're chilling. Um, Harley Quinn. The colors. Let's see if I can show you guys the colors. The colors pop on the on the black background. But once again, how much negative space and the focal point is so small um, on the the canvas, but it still looks like super good. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Can I turn this off? What does that do? That helps out a little bit. Um, I love this one though. I think we ended up getting this for like thirty or forty bucks, but it's very cool. Um, what's this one? Oh yeah, this is a super cool one. This is uh, Anakin, and then when he was like kind of turning dark side, not kind of when he turned dark side, and then um, the five of first, but. Maybe you can kind of see it that way. Turn yeah, the turn the light and point it towards the wall. Like, towards the living room. Okay, turn it towards me. That's very bright. Yeah, keep turning it. You can you can rotate it up at the thing. Yeah, that's... Good? Yeah, sure. Um, but anyways, yeah, here's Anakin. Wow, my face, you know what? Turn that off. That's making me look terrible. Mama, we just turn, turn that light off. It's making me look translucent. Is that better? Yeah, I mean, I don't look any better, but my face is less translucent. Um, and then who we have here? Okay, so this one was kind of a freebie. Uh, this is a cosplay chick, um, dressed up as Slave Leia. Oh, yeah. I think he literally gave me this for $20 after everything we bought, so... Yeah, it's very cool. But, um, oh my god. At, at one point, we were just buying stuff because we wanted to support him. Not saying that we don't like what we have, but um, a lot of what we bought was just to kind of throw on and be like, okay, yeah, yeah, we'll support you, yeah. And I'm going to try to get a commission done for October, whenever that show is, and then I'm going to beg him to bring every single piece of inventory he has to that show. Um, so the last two, which I feel like we got more, but that's still a lot that I just showed. Seth? was popping? Ten bucks. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you, man. Those, those are, uh, over there. You can bring the Wonder Woman over. Hey, Seth, for real, man. Thank you for the ten bomb. That'll buy me, like, one frame for this. But here's one. Here's a, uh, a blue chick with her booty hanging out. Yeah, I like that one. Karina picked this out. So this was a, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. This was a kind of like a mock up of a comic book character from like an indie comic um, that he just drew because the uh, the creator was talking to him about it. Something to that. Yeah, he effect. was trying to the story and the chicken. Yeah. He drew that from what, how he was so doing. the creator described the story and this character to Bimba. And then he just drew him up how he imagined her. So, Karina thought that was really cool. I liked it. I like the blue on it, too. And this very cool piece is a Slave Leia silhouette. Um, once again, I have to keep complimenting the shadows and the lighting on this. Like, the fact that he captured the shadow from her head and face onto the wall while still showing how the wall is lit up. And you can om and you can just see, like the wall itself without it being actually drawn there. You know what I mean? So I think it looks incredible. And if you look close, you can still like capture her, uh, her. Um, what am I trying to say? Her facial features. Like you can see her eyes, her eye socket, her nose, her lips, her cheek, and her chin. All in that. I don't know. So I think that looks freaking awesome. This is uh, 11 by 14 as well. Yeah, it's it's super cool, man. Uh oh, who's awake? No. Okay. Um. That Leia one less is more. The darker really makes it. Yeah. I'm. Did you show the Wonder Woman? No, not yet. I just got done oh. showing this. Um. The Leia one. Oh, you're showing that one. Yeah. Um. But but no, I love all this art, man. This is all of this stuff is is beautiful. This is probably gonna be tough to see because of the the glass. But, so we bought a really big piece. 
we're gonna yeah we're getting there maybe not there this possibly you guys can tell that that's Wonder Woman right I'm not like yeah it's bad because of the glass you know what I mean um, but we got this frame I don't know how big this frame is but Karina got like six pieces of uh, Wonder Woman <laughs> art or something like that but this one was super cool once again chat it looks a lot better in in person and um, it looks better when it's not in you know the glass so that works pretty well but I um, I absolutely love everything that we got I'll put these back in here but yeah I think it's time to start shopping for some frames because I would love to just fill up one of these walls with this art yeah they, I mean they all look great spin the wheel shut up Jared <laughs> let's see what would it be though um, oh, fall to your death. That's what we'd be doing right now. So you'd have to do that? Yeah. But someone has to pay for you to do that? Right, yeah. So it's like, uh, yeah, it's, it's fine. James, what's up, brother? Michael's actually sells glass frames with non-reflective glass. Wow, I need to do that. You know what's crazy? I just thought of this chat. Hold up. I cannot believe this. What? I forgot that I still have... For one, so many fucking prints over here. From what? From C2E2, man. Oh, God. Chat, I still have stuff from C2E2 not framed and not put up. Look, I have Ryan Stegman prints autographed. I totally forgot about that. I didn't know you forgot that. Yeah. Yeah, there's Ryan Stegman. Look at these. The Scarlet Spider. Twenty ninety nine Spidey. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I don't know what happened. Oh, oh. we're falling apart over here, chat. We got this ASM cover. Oh, this is a uh, Gavin Smith. I have some Gavin Smith art. Uh, darkness. No, I haven't done anything Hot Toys related, man. I'm a uh, terribly off track right now, but I'm enjoying it. We have Gavin Smith, and then just a whole bunch of other art. Yeah, the reflective glass on these detolfs suck, man. I would literally pay another like thirty dollars a detolf to have non-reflective glass. So, what would that be? Ninety bucks? I'd be going. I'd I'd be willing to go to a hundred for it. With that. For this, yeah. For non-reflective glass, count me in, baby. Will you do this? I can't do it. Help me. I'm struggling. Just put it back yeah, just put sleeve. it back in the sleeve, please. And then chat, check this out. I still have original art. Oh, it's, is that upside down? That yeah. is. <laughs> original artwork from Weapon H, uh, issue three, page 14, from uh, Chris Smith. So shout out to him. Because he is actually a fan, or he was, used to be a fan of the channel, which I thought was pretty cool. So I totally forgot about this, but... I should probably put this in a frame because I have two other original pieces. But chat, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. Uh, one, we're probably not unboxing a hot toy. Uh, just gonna keep it real because uh, yeah, I'm enjoying talking too much. This is my Twitch angle, so I apologize that it's like this. Where do you want to put it? Uh, just and you can put it right back there. The thing. Yeah, Cincy, you were there. You even took the picture too with us or for uh, Chris and I. Corey Smith. I don't know why I keep calling him Chris. His name is Corey. Um, yeah, I don't know why I said Chris Smith. I'm an idiot. But uh, what was I saying? Oh, I'm enjoying um, art again and, and comic covers, especially indie comics, like independent, um, very, very small print, small run, small house comics. Because um, after talking with the artists – at ICCon, and then the guy who did the the listener comic series, uh, he has a Kickstarter going of uh, of his second project. It's not a part of the same series; it's a completely different series. Um, after talking with all those guys and like hearing the passion and like the the determination that they have to like quote unquote make it with what they're doing, is low key like super inspiring. And honestly, like I love that. 
I could be a part of that process, like if if it happens for them or if it continues being able to um do what they do. Kind of like Adam Fields, like um like he he has a cover um with the the comic series that I that I was just talking about, the listener from um the Icon. Like Adam Fields is becoming more of an artist um through other things. Like he's done multiple uh variant covers for like indie comics which i think is awesome he has his own comic he's doing tons of commissions like it's so cool to see these little guys start to make a name for themselves outside of what they originally started if that makes sense yeah oh yeah and the the listener guy the creator of that page or that comic uh book he's from florida so it's not like he would have known Adam and just like thrown Adam a bone and be like, hey, you want to do a cover for me? Like he met him through like the industry, which I think is awesome. Um, I'm down for Heroes Con 100% since you don't have to twist my arm at all. Um, surprise Hot Toy. It's not a surprise Hot Toy. It was the Empire Strikes Back uh, Darth Vader. I think I actually showed it in my video, if I'm not mistaken. Um, no, but I bought I bought that. That was the only toy that I bought at IC Con. Everything else was art, which was is ridiculous. Um, Kyle, I I saw in our group chat earlier. Is Cincy Comic Con still a thing? I saw you put like September dates down for it. Um, if it is, please once again keep me in the loop with your guys' hotel thing because Korean and I would love to do like the whole weekend vibe, like we were talking about before, <laughs> where we just make it like a weekend trip or whatever. Um, let me get back to the comments real quick. Jared, you missed some dope five at first. Hey, uh, Jared, I think I showed you all that art. I think when we FaceTimed. At that 29 nanometer print? Yeah, Stuart, it's cool, man. And it's kind of cool to have it all signed by Stegman. They haven't actually announced if it's happening yet or not. Damn. Um, but anyways, like, I, I've went on a spree of, like, Kickstarter. Um, uh, a Kickstarter, what am I trying to call it? Like, pledges? Is that is that what you call them? I've backed, like, 10 different comic series in, like, a week. Let me. A lot of them are like vampire, Wild West, like horror themed. And I also backed like a random ass horror movie for 20 bucks. I was like, okay, I'll do that. <laughs> um, I did this awesome like cart. Like, look, check this out, chat. Hold on. How do I switch scenes here? Hold on. Are we at. Can I see it? Oh, we're at 100 subs on the second channel. Thank you, chat. So if you guys already, uh, link in the pinned comments, Josh Prince shorts, little little sub action for me. Uh, but anyways, look at this cool comic book. I need to put this over here so I can see the comments. I'm bad. Off topic, but Resident Evil 8. Yeah, I need to, I need to stream that. I need to do that. Uh, since he please come up for that. That'd be great. Is the horror, horror movie being filmed in the castle? No, I think it's like a vampire, like L.A. Thing. I don't know. Like vampires walking around in LA. I have no idea, man, to be honest. Um, but anyways, check this out. I just thought this was cool. I'm going to let the kids and stuff. Uh, that might be really loud in your guys' ears. I have no idea. Uh, I'm going to let the kids read through this because I think the artwork is adorable, honestly. Art and Brio. b -Row. It started off as a um, a Spanish comic. And now it's um, be, it's the Kickstarter is being made into like an actual like hardcover um, thing hardcover comic book thing i don't know what it's called i don't know what i'm trying to say i don't think it's an omnibus i don't think that's a thing but like the art in it is just adorable dude honestly i think the kids are going to get a big kick about it and and i am too but just something about it it's it's cool and it was dude it was like 30 bucks and it's a hardcover book and that's with shipping from mexico like just like super cool things like that you know what i mean so i've backed a couple of those um, everything else has been, like I said, more horror, um, kind of gruesome -y type stuff. Um, uh, I backed a couple that are from Ohio, like local, like Cincinnati and Dayton. Um, cause on Kickstarter, you can actually look up and see like regions that Kickstarters are from. And I found one that was Dayton, Ohio, and it was a comic book. I have zero idea what it is. It's like Devil's Reign or Devil's something. Um, 
God hates astronauts. No, I didn't, Kyle. I'm actually going to look that up right now and put it on my save thing. Um, I backed it for like $10 just because it's local and it ended up getting funded. So not that my $10 made a difference, um, but it did get funded. And I think that's super cool that it's, um, uh, that it's like a small, small time, like local. Yeah. Oh, they, there was one that I saw, uh, it was a, a recent one and there was a an exclusive sketch cover that was specifically for Pete at Bell Book. I was just like, nope, not back in this one. Mm -mm. I don't know. I'm going to have to show my face in there one day. God hates astronauts. Um, Kyle, I'm saving it now. And then once I'm off, um, the stream, I'll, I'll, I'll look at it. I like how cute they look. Is this your design? Oh, my bad, Hood. No, none of this is my design. It's just a Kickstarter that I, I came across um, that I backed. Uh, Frosty, I had the Mafex Hush Batman. I didn't own it to, like, collect. I owned it to, to resell when I bought Brian's collection. Um, and I never messed with it. Seth, we're doing a horror movie next year. <laughs> There's so many artists at the con that sell prints, commissions. Sensei, we need to just do it. I think we should, man. That'd be fun. God, I, you know what? I'm going to look at it now. Kyle, what kind of comic is this? It looks, like, funny. And, like, you should take a hit of acid before you read it. Like, I see an alligator man super punching someone in half. I see a girl in the skimpiest, like, Jurassic outfit with a T-Rex head. I see a man with two Velociraptors as arms. Like, hold on. Let me show you guys this real quick. Stop that. This. And then this. Yeah, look. Here's exactly what I was talking to you guys about. Here's the alligator thing a man being split in half here's a woman in some skimpy Jurassic bikini with a t-rex on her head or something and then here's a man with two velociraptors that's his arms <laughs> AC later hood <laughs> like this is like I don't even know what I'm looking at right now a whale with crabs floating around it There's just a whole lot going on. Like, look at this. This man has a ghost, and here is, you know what? That's a bear, I think. I only want that new issue. What's this? Digital version. Hardcover. 70 bucks. I would want this, though. That's the problem. I'll probably do, uh, do that at least. 10 bucks? Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. I'm very intrigued by it, though, Kyle. Thank you for bringing that to my attention, because I... Would be curious to see what in the actual hell is going on there. Um, any good Star Wars comics? Sheesh. I uh, I know the, the Vader series would go. The Kylo Ren series seems to be popping off. So what's the May the Fourth Hall looking like? Um, it looks like two comic books, brother. <laughs> I didn't I didn't do anything for May the Fourth. Popsick, are you in here by chance? Probably not. But I just re it just clicked in my head. That you asked the question literally at the beginning of the stream. Have you watched Invincible on Amazon? No, I have not. I heard it was really good. And I heard like the second season or something is like already being like doing the thing. You know what I mean? Going through it. Um, I think uh, I think I need to actually do a stream where I open up some, some figures. You know? James, no, I'm not doing any streaming after this, man. I did a... Uh, I did it earlier. Hey, Rob. Have a good night, bro. Thank you for uh, the cross-platform support, bro. Uh, Frosty, no new video today, man. That's why I'm doing this uh, this lame live stream to make up for it. Um, but hopefully this weekend was... Uh, hopefully this coming weekend will be a, a weekend that I can actually get a hunt video done for, for Monday. Uh, War of Bounty Hunters, Alpha number one, is really good. Nice. I have a... Do I have that one? I have I have Bounty Hunters issue one, I think, yeah. 
Mike just dropped the hotel rooms are up for you. I see. Oh, wait, what? He did? So the dates for IcyCon's already up? Cincy, this is perfect. Kyle, Craig, are you in here? Here we go. April 29th to May 1st. Is that... Uh, is that three days again? I can't do math. April, so one, two, three. Okay, three. Yeah, it's three days again. That's what I thought. Uh, look, we'll have Ian McDermott there, which is pretty cool. But he already has uh, the ho <laughs> Jesus. he already has the hotel rooms up for that. So I'll drop this link in the chat right now, um, just in case you guys uh, want to bookmark it or if you're interested whatsoever. That would be cool. Um, uh, CDC to, to process comics. Kyle, is anyone able to to do that? <laughs> Cincy, we should. I hope. Hopefully, you can still go, even though it's close to your birthday. Because listen, Kyle, Craig, Cincy, and myself. Okay. Hopefully, the four of us will be all there next year at ICCC, April 29th to May 1st, 2022, in Nashville, Tennessee. I hope that we'll be all there because if if we are, we will be doing a live podcast, which will pretty much be this, but plus those three gentlemen who I just mentioned, and it will be 100% live. There will be an audience if people choose to, to come in there and sit and listen to us and bullshit. Uh, there'll be alcohol flowing through our veins, so it's kind of going to be like an after dark type podcast. We'll be able to record. Oh, God. Nat has plans for us. Let's get it. We'll do that. And then this was my thinking, Cincy, Craig, Kyle. If people are in the audience, like let's just say that there's people who watch us and they decide to come to the show and they're they're with us in the audience, we can bring them up and have them um, hang out with us for like five, ten minutes, ask us questions if they want, do whatever, but give them the opportunity to come up, kind of kick it with us, be a part of the group, you know what I mean? Yeah, and Karina can go up on stage. She can she can ask. Um, tattoos live during stream. I mean, say less. I'm already there for it. I'll I'll do it. I'm there. Coming in. Um, but hopefully that sounds good to the guys. Hopefully it sounds good to people who. Um, I, Karina was just doing some NSFW stuff off camera. Keep it real with you. Uh, we should have the Lucasfilm tattoo guy there this year. Oh, nice. Dude, if you have tattoo people there, that'd be wild. Um, but anyways, hopefully you guys like that idea. But Nat and I have been talking about it since, uh, we went there, since we were there this past year. Um, I think it would be a huge, a huge draw. Um, I think it would be very cool. Pan the camera. <laughs> I can't do that. Um... <laughs> now you you have to let me know what the plans are, for sure. Um, let's see what else. I don't really have anything else. I'm I'm just gonna keep it a buck with you guys. I really am. Um, if you guys don't follow me on Twitch, I think the link is live or down in the description. Um, if you don't want to follow me on Twitch and you just want to watch ten to thirty seconds of what I do on Twitch, click that pinned link in the chat. That's my second channel. Videos are typically 15 to 45 seconds long. Um, I have not checked out the Venom trailer. I saw since he's post about it, though. Made me chuckle. The Broadway bar crawl? Yeah, let's get that. That's 100% going to happen. Um, but yeah, those are those are all the plugs that I have. Um, I have... One, two, three, four, five. I'll have like six Hot Toys to open at some point. I'm very ashamed of myself. I still have that Best Ben Luke 2-pack. Um the dx two pack still in box i still need to sell a couple hot toys to make some room I need to get some frames for my art um mark what's up brother uh but anyways i think i'm going to end the stream um the venom trailer was hilarious i'll definitely have to check it out then i'm curious on it but uh, i'm going to end the stream i'm going to go chill i'm going to finish the rest of my dinner and then um i'll see you guys uh tomorrow if you guys want to uh hop in on on the twitch streams i go from like 9 a.m to 3 p.m every day right now 
Um, and then it'll be it'll be shut the hell up, James. Uh, the only video games I'm really playing right now is Warzone because I'm oddly addicted to that game. Um, but I want to play the new Resident Evil as well because scary games uh, do do well for me because um, I get scared pretty easily. But anyways, I love you guys. Thank you for the support. Um, I don't really know what else to say besides I love you and thank you for the support. Yeah, I just missed it. I'll, I'm going to leave this stream up so you guys can can rewatch it. It's literally just me talking aimlessly and showing art. It's, I don't know, not very fun. But uh, hit me up what you're selling. Harold, <clears throat> give me a list. Seth, see you later, brother. Thanks again for the 10. Uh, Andrew, thanks again for the 10. Uh, Seth, I miss you, brother. I've rewatched our Atlanta videos twice since then because I'm so sad. See Josh Rage. Hey, Keith, what's up, brother? Anyways, all right. Peace out, guys. Twitch link in the description. Second channel. Pin, pinned uh, comment in the in the live stream chat. So, love you guys. I'll see you over on other platforms if possible. Peace. Oh, I'm not done yet. This is awkward.